Dr. Richard McAllister here again on September 21st, 2015 with Jill. Now I'm going to show you her eyes open training, which is a little bit different and it can be done in a number of different ways. In this case, I chose to use this little uh, movie that plays when her brain is doing what we want it to do. When she has uh, a certain percentage of her z-scores, remember a z-score is signifying how far away from the mean of the normal database that we're comparing her brain frequencies to, when she falls within a certain range, in this case plus or minus one and a half standard deviations, then the movie will play. When less than the percentage of z-scores that we want uh, is produced, then the movie stops. So let's say I want 80% uh, of her z-scores to fall within that one and a half plus or minus range. When she produces 80%, that movie plays. When she produces 85%, that movie plays. When she produces 100%, that movie plays, which means 100% of her z-scores fall within that target range of plus or minus one and a half standard deviations. Now, if I set it for, I want the Z, 80% of the z-scores in that range, if she produces 79%, then the movie's not gonna play. If she only produces 50% that fall within that range, the movie will not play. But as soon as she hits that 80% mark, the movie will play. And when she hits more than 80%, the movie plays, but also those sounds we're hearing, the tones will become higher, which signifies that she's getting a lot more within that target range. And this is how we train with eyes open. And we're also monitoring her beta frequency in that area of the brain called the limbic lobe. And it's color coded so that we know when it's dark blue, we're like three standard deviations below the mean, below that normal database. So the trick is we want that to improve. So Jill, how do you feel? Good. <laughs> feeling good, feeling relaxed, right? Yeah, very relaxed. Okay, so uh, this is what we do here. This is one of the uh, one of the ways that we train and take advantage of brain neuroplasticity. That's the ability of the brain to reorganize itself, grow new connections for lasting improvement. Dr. Richard McAllister here, and we will follow up on Jill later on down the road and get a little interview and see how she's doing and follow her progress.